Well, I have officially run out of space, but that will not deter me from bringing you my updated manga collection video. Let's do it. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna take a look at my 2023 update for the manga collection. And as I stated in the opening clip, I really don't have room for new books. I don't know how I've been able to do it, but for the past year and a half, I've been playing Tetris with my two Talex shelves here. I've been trying to fit everything as nice as I can. Obviously, realistically, when you look at it, you know that I'm not gonna have room for all the new stuff that's coming out because 2024 is gonna be pretty chaotic with new releases, but I'm trying my best. Half of these two Kallax shelves are already filled with graphic novels from DC, Marvel, Image, Boom Studios, etc. I don't want to get rid of them, so they're kind of stuck here and I guess I just ran out of room. So we're gonna start here with the first cube. I like to organize my books alphabetically. So we're going to start with Akira Toriyama's Manga Theater. I have one volume of A Galaxy Next Door. I watched the anime, really enjoyed it. So I kind of want to go back and finish collecting this series. Alpi, The Soul Sender, Volume 1. Ayashimon, Battle Angel Alita, all six volumes of the first series. Loved it, made a video on it if you want to check it out. Next to it, we have Blade of the Moon Princess, Volume 1 and Bochi the Rock Volume 1. Behind that, we have Battle Angel Alita Last Order. We got the five omnibus editions, and I only have here Last Order Volume 16, 18, and I did place an order for 19, but it didn't arrive by the time of me making this video. Volume 17 is really hard to find, so I don't have it, unfortunately, and I have not begun collecting the third and final series for Battle Angel Alita. Behind all of that is Beastars, one of my all-time favorite series. I genuinely enjoyed this. Here we have all 22 volumes along with the three Beast Complex volumes. The cube next to it, you got Bakemonogatari sharing some space here, some real estate with Call of the Night. Behind that, we got all of the available volumes from Black Lagoon. Next to it, one of my favorite Jose Bonga, Black Canvas, my so-called artist journey, all five volumes of that. We have the single edition of Break of Dawn, everything in one nice thick omnibus edition. And on top, we got a random volume of Black Clover. I thought I was gonna get Shonen Jump series Series, but they're too long, they won't fit on any of the shelves, so I decided not to get any Shonen Jump material, and I'd rather read that on the official app instead. Next to it, you got Box of Light and Burn the Witch. On the next cube, I started recently getting Delicious in Dungeon after so many people have raved about it. I wanted to get in on the action, so I got the first two volumes here, followed by one of my favorite series, Dinosaur Sanctuary. Love this so much. Next to it, one of the best drama mystery titles, fan favorite, Don't Call It Mystery. Here we have the first two omnibus editions, followed by DRCL, Dracula, Midnight Children. Behind all that, we got Diwergilder. I butchered that, sorry. The first arc of Dragon Quest, Adventure of Dai. I am so sad that I don't think we're gonna get anything else from this. I don't know if they sold well enough. If you are interested, please do pick it up and let Viz Media know that we want more of Dragon Quest to be printed. Pretty please. From Seven Seas Entertainment, here's Die Dark, the first five volumes. I did get volume six, but again, has not arrived by the time that I filmed this. Behind all of that is my collection of Demon Slayer books, all 23 volumes. I got the first three volumes of Dragon Quest Monsters Plus. I just never bothered getting the last two. I should probably do that at some point. And similar with Black Clover, I started getting Don Dandadan, love it, but I decided to read it on the Manga Plus website. Here we have Frieden, the first nine volumes, a phenomenal series. I'm so happy that it just blew up with the anime adaptation. Next to it, we got Hunter x Hunter. I have volume one, and then I jump all the way to volume 32, which is past where the anime left off. At some point, I do want to get the missing volumes, but I'm in no rush. Behind all of that, we got Dr. Stone, one of my favorite Shonen Jump series, all 26 volumes. And behind that, Doro Hedoro, all 23 volumes and a loose volume of Hell's Paradise, similar to Black Clover. Eventually, I would like to own it, but for now, volume one will suffice. And from Udon, we got the Darkstalkers slash Red Earth uh, manga one-shot. 
So we have here all 12 Omnibus editions of Gaunt, and next to it, Gigantomaxia from Cantata Miuta, and Handyman Saito in Another World. Behind that, I got the box set for Gon from Masashi Tanaka, and behind that is my lone, actually, this is a pretty old volume now that I think about it, Gundam Seed Astray R, I think the second volume or third one, I think they're expensive. I don't know, I, I forgot to check. But you can see here, I have the first two Omnibus editions of I Am A Hero, and that's gonna carry over to the next cube. But on top of this one, I got the first four hardcovers of Fist of the North Star. Again, I stopped getting them, but I do plan on getting more in the near future. The next cube is pretty cool. Some of my favorites, we got Kemono Jihen, all of the volumes released so far. And behind that, we got half of Inspector. I've talked about it in the past. I haven't gotten the first six because I'm not a huge fan of the opening story arc, but I'll get it eventually. It's not too difficult to track aside from two of the volumes, which are really out of print. Next to it is Insomniacs After School, got the first three volumes released and Kowloon got the first five released from that series. Behind all that, we got the rest of I Am A Hero that I mentioned on the previous cube, followed by Lady Snowblood. I gotta give a shout out to my friend Josh. This was an amazing gift. I love the series. And on top, I think this is my one degenerate book out of everything, so calm down. Inner Species Reviewers, the first eight volumes and the two anthology books. We got level one Demon Lord and one Room Hero. I have all the volumes released so far. And next to it, I gotta give a shout out to my good friend Travis. This was an amazing gift. He was able to find Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer and gift this to me. I am eternally grateful. And I do have a video pending on this series. So look forward to that soon-ish. I have one volume here of Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid and it is the colored chromatic editions. I prefer the anime over the manga, but I kind of wanted to own this because it's large trim size, full color. And since I like the characters, I thought it would be a cool gimmicky thing to own. So here's volume one. I did get volume two, but it wasn't here when I uh, took these pictures. Behind that row is Magical Girl Apocalypse. I got the first 16 volumes here, or the first series. There are sequels, but I haven't gotten those. And I have a single volume of Nurse Hitomi's Monster Infirmary. Behind that, we got some Rumiko Takahashi with Meizon Ikoku, all 10 volumes of that, and Mermaid Saga, which I did a review on here on the channel if you want to check it out. On top, we got another mermaid book, Mermaid Scales and the Town of Sand. I got the first three volumes of Magi, unfortunately. Like with the other shonen stuff, I don't have room for it. I don't know when I'm going to be able to collect this, but Moggy's pretty cool. The next cube, we got My Dress Up Darling, the first 10 volumes of that. Next to it is Marmalade Boy. We are two more books away from completing that collector's edition. That's really cool. Next to it, tucked away, you can barely see it. I took a lame photograph, sorry, is Nana, the first volume. And next to it is Natsume's Book of Friends. I only have the first two. I don't know why we don't have that reprinted, but I guess one and two will have to do. And here is a pretty cool experiment. I have the first 30 volumes of My Hero Academia. At that point, that's when I decided to just stop getting it for the time being. And some of My Hero Academia Vigilantes. Now what's cool here is that I found a neat trick and that is to place egg cartons on your shelf on these Kallax and they will act as risers essentially. So that's what I'm doing here. So I decided to test it out on this cube and I really like how it looks. So down below, we got One Piece, and this is how I collect the series. That's the one Shonen Jump title that I do collect. I just haven't gotten any of the Omnibus editions as of late, but I do have 25 of them. I think these cover up to volume 75. Next to it is Oshinoko. We got the first three volumes of that. And on top, we got the 20th anniversary edition of Paradise Kiss, Olympus, and one of my very first manga. I'm not ashamed of this. When I started collecting manga, it was... Pluto by Urusawa, Samurai Deeper Kyo, and Onegai Teacher. All three which I started getting at Borders. Rest in peace, Borders. So Onegai Teacher is one of my all-time favorite romantic comedies. I know the anime came first, but I did not know that, and I read the manga first, and to me, this was the original, and it's a lot of fun. And as you can see, it's pretty cramped in there with uh, the whole One Piece situation, so yay. 
We got the Spanish editions hardcovers of Old Boy. I did get volume three, which is the last one, but it hasn't arrived yet for this video, so I do apologize. Just imagine a third hardcover there with a canary yellow spine. That's how it's gonna look. Next to it, we got Record of Ragnarok, eight volumes of that, and Rooster Fighter. Behind that is Prison School from Akira Hiramoto. And on top, I got some Naruto books. I love Naruto, but it's a long series, so I'm not going to get it at this point. But I do have a data book, and I got that 7th Hokage and the Scarlet Spring book thinking we were not going to get anything else. This was before Boruto was announced. So I thought, okay, I'd get this because this is like non-anime stuff, and it's the end, like an epilogue. And surprise, surprise, we have a million Boruto things or whatever. Also, I got to give a shout out to my friend Alex, went to Japan and got me this awesome gift, a Japanese copy of the first volume of Naruto. So that's really cool. In the next cube, we got Rent a Girlfriend. So far, 21 volumes of this. Next to it, we got Sandland from Akira Toriyama and Sengoku Yoko, the first three volumes. Behind that, we got the final part of Prison School. And on top, we got Ran and the Grey World from Aki Irie. Next shelf is a little chaotic, but we got the first deluxe edition of Spriggan. I haven't gotten the other three because I haven't read volume one. So I want to read volume one and find out if I really like it to get the other three. But next to it is Sawada and the House of Monsters, one of my favorite reads of 2023, uh, followed by Spirit Circle, one of my favorite sci-fi stories of all time. We got Succubus and Hitman, one through five, Sword of the Demon Hunter, the first three volumes of that. And behind it is Samurai Deeper Kyo. Now what's funny is that mid collecting this, orders closed, so I was left to try and complete the series via third party sellers on Amazon, and what I ended up doing was buying from uh, libraries across America, and that's why we have the random hardcovers here. On top, I got The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, all 11 volumes of that, The Brave Tuber, The Girl from the Other Side, Volume 1, and the two one-shot compilations from Tatsuki Fujimoto. In the next cube, we got The Dangers in My Heart, The Night Blooms Behind Castle Walls, and The Tunnel of Summers, The Exit of Goodbyes, Ultramarine, The Ancient Magus Bride, and The Valiant Must Fall. That time I got reincarnated as a slime all the way in the back, all 22 volumes released so far. Some Kodansha books, we got The Seven Deadly Sins, Omnibus, got the first five. Next to it is Sugumi Project, the first three volumes of that. We also have Toge Oni, volume one, and in the back, a single Omnibus edition of Tokyo Revengers. I've mostly been enjoying it through the anime and not getting the books. And also collecting To Your Eternity, one of my favorite ongoing manga. The next cube is almost all Makoto Yukimura. As you can see, we got Vinland Saga and Planets, but all the way in the back is Vagabond. Unfortunately, I am missing some volumes that are out of print. I know that the series slowly came back into print multiple times, but when I started finally buying them, volumes two, four, eight, and nine just slipped through the fingers, and I haven't been able to track those down yet. The final Kalex Cube here has Yakuza Reincarnation, four volumes of Yona the Dawn. Again, I'm not committed to owning 40 volumes of Yona. I like the series, what I've read so far, but we'll see what happens with that because I do want to own it, but it's a huge commitment. Next to it, we got Yokohama Kaidashi Kiko, the deluxe editions, the first three out of five, one volume of Witch of Thistle Castle from Titan Manga, and at the back, we got Wave Listen to Me, Wolfsmund, and finally, World and Solte. If we zoom back all the way at the top of the shelf, we got my Berserk Deluxe hardcovers, the Sailor Moon Eternal Editions, and Blade of the Immortal. Here's a closer look at all three next to my Hellboy figures from Mesco. Now, I don't know if I want to collect more of the Dark Horse uh, Deluxe hardcover manga, because it is tempting. I mean, I would only have to get Helsing, and now uh, Trigun is upcoming. So, I don't know. Do I want a complete set of that, even though I don't have any room? We'll see. I could always just stack books on top of each other, right? 
So in one of my closets that I used to store all the extra stuff like books, movies, figures, etc. I separated a small section for all my Pokemon related stuff. I call that the Pokemon Cube Shelf. As you can see here, it mostly has the Pokemon Adventures manga. I love Pokemon. It's my favorite video game franchise of all time. And I love the manga as well. So in this collection, we have the first two box sets for the series. And then I switched on over to the collector's editions, the large trim size style next to it you can barely see it but it's there is the diamond and pearl box set and in the front row we got the mystery dungeon spin-off volume we got heart gold and soul silver black and white black and white 2 and x and y i am excited for alpha sapphire and omega ruby next year and i'm pretty sure we're gonna get the announcement for sun and moon as well as sword and shield the final shelf that we're going to take a look at is the one where I keep all my media stuff like my Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4. It has extra cubes that I am using for books and I decided to use the four cubes here to store a creator centric books. The first cube obviously being the Junji Ito section. Started all the way back when I got Uzumaki, fell in love with Ito's writing and art style. So I've been getting all the Ito releases from Viz Media. We got Uzumaki, Gyo, Tomie, and then it continues on to the newest release, which was Mimi's Tales of Terror. And I do have the other non-biz releases for Cat Diary and Dissolving Classroom. In the back, out of focus, you can barely see it, is a trade paperback of Ghost in the Shell, the first story. Next to it is Hotel Harbor View. And at the top, we got a terrified teacher at Ghoul School. The next cube has a bunch of books from other favorite creators of mine. We got Inio Asano with Dead Dead Demons, Dead 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 Destruction. I don't have all of it yet. I have the first nine. And behind it is Goodnight Poon Poon, A Girl on the Shore. And at the back, Nijigahara Holograph, the oversized hardcover. Other creators that you can spot in this cube, Shuzo Shimi, I got Happiness and The Flowers of Evil, complete editions. Over at the front, Satoshi Kon books, I got Tropic of the Sea and Opus, a missing seraphim and and the Dream Fossil collection. And next to Dead Dead Demons, a bunch of Tezuka books like Blackjack, Bomba, and Princess Knight. That third black shelf cube belongs to Naoki Urusawa with Monster, Asadora, and Pluto. I have the all-in-one Death Note box set and behind it you can see Tekon Kinkrit, black and white. The final cube here is dedicated to Tayo Matsumoto. You can see Sunny, number five. I got some Miyazaki with Shuna's Journey and Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. And at the front, dedicated to my love of yokai, we got Cat-Eyed Boy by Kazuo Mez, the first hardcover. And next to it, from my favorite mangaka, Shigeru Mizuki, we got Tono Monogatari, Nononba, and the Gegege no Kitaro books. So there it is, folks, the 2023 collection update for my manga. I hope that by next year, it'll be a different scenario. We'll see what ends up happening. Either I sell some things or a new shelf happens miraculously. I don't know. Stay tuned. I am going to keep getting some new releases. I'm going to be super selective in the future with that. But yeah, stay tuned for more content. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you our next video.